Spring is here, but thanks to the creeping normalcy of climate change, the weather still sucks for plenty of folks. Luckily, Netflix is right on time with another heaping pile of new streaming movies and shows to hold you over if it's freezing cold or pouring rain or if you just don't want to go outside. Here's what's new to Netflix in the United States for April 2018. As always, we'll show you the full list at the end, but in the meantime, here are some choice selections. Netflix continues their commitment to dropping brand new original content, and there is a lot to dig through. On April 6th, David Letterman's My Next Guest Needs No Introduction continues another deep dive conversation with an elusive and fascinating celebrity. This month, it's Jay-Z. Also on the subject of doing 55 and the 54 is season one of Netflix original series Fastest Car, which pits the world's fastest supercars against souped up sleeper cars, which presumably are less exciting looking. If you're twiddling your thumbs wishing Game of Thrones was coming back this year and you want another prestige TV drama with swords and mature kissing to hold you over, check out season one of Troy Fall of a City premiering this month. Sadly, there aren't any dragons, but maybe, just maybe, we'll get a big wooden horse. Not possession. If you've got friends in your living room and you need to put something on that will make them leave, Netflix original animated series Boss Baby Back in Business also premieres on April 6th. I don't really think anyone should watch that, but I do like making fun of Boss Baby whenever I can. On April 13th, the Netflix reboot of Lost in Space premieres, taking the corny 1960s Swiss Family Robinson in space premise and giving it what looks like a pretty hard sci-fi overhaul while still having a robot who says, Danger, Will Robinson. My producer Kalila insisted I mention Chef's Table Pastry because she wants an excuse to look at some beautiful cakes while she edits this video. So let's all take a moment to look at these beautiful cakes. Look at them. They're beautiful. On April 20th, we're getting a very special Netflix original anime series about the day-to-day -day struggles of a 25-year-old girl who works in an office who also happens to be a red panda who is obsessed with death metal. Yes, this seems like a good show to premiere on April 20th, 420. <laughs> As always, in addition to all the new content, Netflix also has a pile of old movies, and this month they've got a great selection of really just wonderfully bad movies, including the original Mortal Kombat, quite possibly the best video game movie adaptation to date, and it's still stupid as hell, and I love it dearly. Deep Blue Sea, which is sort of like Jurassic Park with sharks, and LL Cool J plays a sassy chef, but he also wrote the end credits theme song in which he compares his hat to a shark's fin for reasons I'm still unclear of. Speed Racer is the Wachowskis visually stunning and critically divisive adaptation of the goofy 60s anime, which has since gathered a vocal online defense force because some people just like colors and fast cars. If Speed Racer didn't give you your fill of John Goodman playing a cartoon character from the 60s, The Flintstones is another bizarre, colorful live-action movie where that happens. Netflix also added the unwatchable prequel, The Flintstones and Viva Rock Vegas. Don't watch that one, just watch the regular one. If you really, really, really are a glutton for punishment, there's Battlefield Earth, the three-hour Scientology-infused space opera starring nine-foot-tall John Travolta with dreadlocks, which is widely considered to be one of the worst movies in history. And now, thankfully, it's on Netflix. As always, here is the full list of everything Netflix is adding in April. We'll be back next month. Let us know what you're excited about in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to IGN for movies, TV, games, and more. Check out these cakes.